Thalker River Jazz, uh, again, that was like a joint idea that Joe Dagnall and I had. We were brainstorming one day about, wow, wouldn't it be great to form a, a, a local community band and bring back some of the music from the 30s and the 40s. Sonny and I, you know, really said this is what we need to do. Um, and that's what our mission has really been. It's been to bring joy and music to people uh, that really appreciate it. But once we started, you know, really getting the whole band together and playing, uh, we said, wow, wouldn't it be great to not only just to play for ourselves, but to actually take this out on the road. Joe had a connection with the Wadwell Center. I think that was one of the first places that we played. The reaction from the audience was just, you know, beyond our expectation. They just loved it. They talked to us and they said, you have to continue with this. That kind of like stretched our vision beyond, you know, our initial just desire, you know, to form a band and play music. Once we went out and actually exposed it to people, we began to sense well, wow, you know, maybe this is something that could be important. We're a nonprofit organization because all of these facilities have limited budgets. And so when we can go in and play uh, without charging them several hundred dollars, to have a 16, 18 piece orchestra come into their facility for an hour and a half, two hour concert to them is fantastic. And the residents enjoy it. They look forward to the next time that we can come back. It definitely is, you know, a local group and uh, they're all lay musicians, nobody's professional. We just play because we love to play. We know that there's, there's so much benefit you know, to what we do that that's kind of like adrenaline for us really to, to continue doing what we do. They specifically told me just because our body isn't able to anymore, our mind is still there. We still are dancing in our mind when you guys are playing. Halfway through the concert, you see most of the people out there, they're doing something, you know. They're making the hand go, or the foot go, or they're getting animated, you know. And then I know that they're real, there's a connection, you know, there's a chemistry that's developing, you know, between the band and the audience. And that's what we really look for, is that, is to try to engage the audience that way. I had one specific concert we did um, at this nursing home facility, and at the end, um, of course, I'm a sax player, so I'm right up front. Well, we had a lady sitting to our right, and she was just there, and she just, you know, I'm listening, looking at her while I'm playing, and she was just enjoying herself, you know, really having a good time. And so at the end, when we were starting to pack up, the activities director says, did you notice that lady to your right? I says, yeah, she was deaf. But the fact that she could feel the music with the bass, the drums, and see us play, she was just really having a great time, even though she was deaf. And I mean, you hear something like that, and it's just like you can't help but feel good. A lot of patients will start clapping to the music and, and moving, but they also begin to smile, and some of them also hum along. I hear a lot of what the, what the audience members are saying, and, and quite often, especially as, as the concert is ending, they're talking with the activities director, saying, what, when can we get that band back? I like to make as many concerts as I can, and it's just a wonderful thing that the Saco River Jazz Ensemble is doing. I appreciate the hours that they have put in rehearsing to be as together as they are. It's, it's hard work. I love to hear them as often as I can because they're all very fine musicians. It's amazing that some of the facilities people tell us, they said, well, we've had different groups come in here and people come in here and play and these people, the, our patients will show up and in 15 minutes they want to go back to their room. You come here and you play music and two hours is not enough. They want two hours more. We can provide something that is really going to meet the need. Not just provide entertainment, but really meet a need at a much deeper level.